What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the full backstory behind the Lodge family. Riverdale is a place of mystery, humor, and romance set in a world of teenagerhood. Alongside the teenagers that rule the town, there are a few very powerful families like the Blossoms and the Lodges. So today, we are going to dive into the Lodge family to get a better understanding of how they became such a powerful family. Back in season three, a young Hermione admits that she recently started dating fellow student Hiram Lodge. When the others hear about it, Fred says that he's a ripped, strong, and well-trained guy. While Penelope throws out the comment, well, he's a criminal, Hermione is quick to respond that he's a self-starter that provides for his family and not a criminal like everyone thinks. You know Hiram Lodge? Uh, yes. Dude is ripped. And a petty criminal. He's a self-starter who provides for his family. But to my mom, he's a scrub. She then goes on to say that even her mother dislikes her relationship with Hiram and that she doesn't want her to continue doing so. Hermione's mother is an honest and hardworking woman that works as a cleaning lady over at Five Seasons, working up to 16 hours a day. After saying it out loud, Hermione regains confidence that dating Hiram is a good choice because no matter what, she doesn't want to be like her mother. She ends the conversation by saying he got the right idea, get out of Riverdale, no matter what. When she first met Hiram Lodge, he kept giving Hermione gifts, and not just a rose, but expensive jewelry. In one scene, a young Hiram Lodge gave Hermione a pearl necklace, and this necklace became extremely important to her, and you rarely see her without it. After graduating from high school, Hermione went against her mother's wishes and traveled to New York with Hiram. We don't really know exactly what happened during their time in New York, just that Hiram managed to build up an empire for himself, but of course, not legally. Shortly after moving to New York, Hiram and Hermione got married, and since then, Hermione started helping Hiram with his illegal schemes to make fast money. In the beginning, their relationship was strong, and they loved each other a lot. That's why they became so happy when the doctor told them that Hermione was pregnant with a child. It was a baby girl, and they gave her the name Veronica. And when she became older, Hiram gave her a pearl necklace, just like the one he gave to Hermione all those years ago. Unfortunately for the Lodges, the authorities managed to find out what they were up to, and as a result of this, Hiram Lodge was sent to jail. With a limited amount of funds and most of their property seized, Hermione and Veronica had no choice but to move to Riverdale. During their first week in Riverdale, Veronica meets Archie Andrews and Betty Cooper at Pops, and they instantly connected. Veronica and Betty became best friends pretty fast, and because Veronica knew Betty had a crush on Archie, she couldn't make a move on him, even though she wanted to. However, at one of Cheryl's parties, Cheryl wanted to start some drama, and therefore, she spinned the bottle and it landed on Archie and Veronica. To make a long story short, they kissed and fell in love with each other. Thankfully, Betty found love when she was introduced to Jughead, so in the end, everyone ended up happy. Hermione knew that it was just a matter of time before Hiram was going to be released from jail, and therefore she started to make up a plan for how they could regain their wealth and power. The plan was to buy the old outdoor cinema and rebuild it into a prison, but this wasn't revealed to the public. All the information that was released was that someone was going to buy the old outdoor cinema, but the name wasn't given. For a long time, Hermione and Fred Andrews started to work on the site, and they even started to get feelings for each other. At least, they seemed to be pretty interested in each other. While constructing at the site, they received a big problem. All Fred Andrews' employees quit because Clifford Blossom gave them more money, because he didn't want them to build on the land. Clifford did this because apparently the lands were owned by his ancestors. Fred managed to solve this problem by taking some help from his son, Archie, and his friends. Veronica, who used to be a spoiled girl that received everything she pointed at and acted like a brat, decided to change her ways when she moved to Riverdale. Moving to Riverdale was probably the best thing that could have happened for Veronica because this gave her an opportunity to start over. When Veronica came home and found Hiram sitting at the dinner table, she was surprised to say the least. Hiram told her how he disapproved of her recent behavior and called her disrespectful, not at all like the Veronica he remembered. Veronica responds saying that she has changed and that she's not the same person she used to be, and afterwards directing the same question to Hiram, meaning that she wonders if he is going to change his ways and become an honest man, or if he is going to keep up his illegal business. And imagine my surprise when you weren't here to greet me. And she drank your crystal. So disrespectful. 
The tension in the room was so high that you could without a doubt cut it with a knife. When Hiram first found out about Veronica's relationship with Archie, he disapproved. He didn't at all like the thought of Veronica dating Archie, especially when he found out that there might have been something between Archie's father, Fred Andrews, and his wife. It did take some time, but eventually Hiram allowed Archie to come closer to the family, but he only did this so that he could use him. Something that is important to remember is that Hiram Lodge never does something unless it benefits him. At one point in the show, we almost felt like Archie was more loyal to Hiram than to Veronica, but thankfully that changed. A big turning point was probably when they went to the Lodge's house out in the woods. During their stay, the house was broken into by some locals and they were robbed. After the thieves left, Archie chased them, furious after what they did, but before he managed to get ahead of them, he heard gunshots. They were killed by one of Hiram's loyal companions. Archie didn't want to be a part of the Lodge family anymore after that, at least not as long as Hiram ruled it. When Archie no longer wanted to support Hiram and instead started working against him, Hiram became furious and he seeked to get Archie killed. He did this by sending out a bunch of quest cards to the Gargoyle and Griffins game that said, kill the Red Paladin, which meant kill Archie Andrews. When Archie couldn't take it anymore, he left town together with his best friend Jughead Jones. Before Archie left, he broke up with Veronica, which to say the least, broke her heart. Veronica now had a lot to deal with, considering the fact that she bought Pops and started a speakeasy. To help her through everything was Richie, and they started to get feelings for each other when working together that much. Sadly for Richie, Veronica never stopped loving Archie, so when he returned, the short-lived affair between her and Richie ended. Since all the attempts to kill Archie failed, Hiram came up with a new plan to get rid of Archie. This time, he used the murder that went down during Archie and the crew's stay at the Lodge's house. He told the police that Archie was the killer and planted out evidence that would strengthen his claims. Just like Hiram wanted, Archie was arrested and later put in prison. During Archie's jail time, he was forced to fight other inmates in order to survive and to put on a good show for the rich viewers like Hiram Lodge himself. Veronica wasn't at all happy about this and together with her friends, they came up with an escape plan to break Archie out. The breakout was a success and Archie was once again free. At some point in the show, there was a murder attempt on Hiram Lodge. As we all know, he obviously survived it, but as it turns out, his wife Hermione Lodge was behind the assassination attempt. Hiram did everything he could to build up his empire by selling drugs, killing people, and even building his very own prison. Hermione doesn't love him anymore, at least not like she used to, and just like Veronica, she wanted to stop Hiram from doing anyone harm. The only problem is that when Hiram found out that Hermione was behind the attempted murder on him, he made sure she paid for it. Just moments before Hermione was arrested, she talked on the phone and said, quote, How could he have hidden this from me? The door was kicked down and she was taken away by armed policemen. At this point, the Lodge family is falling apart and with Hermione in jail, Veronica couldn't get help from her to stop her father. Knowing how much Hiram hated Archie and how much he loves money, Veronica together with Archie and the others came up with a final plan to stop Hiram. Since Hiram was the owner of Veronica's Speakeasy, she convinced her dad to fight Archie and allow people to bet on who they think is going to win. The betting was going to take place at the Speakeasy while the fight was going down at the fighting club. The fight between Archie and Hiram was no joke and in the end, bets started pouring in betting that Hiram was going to kill Archie. When everything was set in motion, Veronica called the police and told them that they were hosting illegal gambling and fights. First, the police arrived at the speakeasy and since Hiram is the written owner, he will take all the blame for it. Next, the police arrived at the fighting club and Hiram was arrested at the spot and charged with illegal gambling and fighting. Hermione is now in prison just like Hiram, but Hiram, for some reason, was allowed to be sent to his own prison. We don't think we've seen the last of Hiram Lodge. If the guards don't do as he says, they might get fired, so basically, he can do whatever he wants. Veronica is the only lodge that isn't behind bars, but we will just have to see what happens in season 4. With that said, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, don't forget to comment on what you think Hiram is going to do in season 4.